help from the bench side for the benefit of cancer patient has been a lifetime dream of mine. That dream started uh, 28 years ago in Buffalo, New York. I did my undergraduate and master's in organic chemistry. So for my PhD, I want to do something more clinical relevant. So I joined the Rosal Park Cancer Institute, affiliated with State University of New York in Buffalo in 1994. So I remember at the very first day of my very first level patient, I met Professor Handoli, who was a legend, because he was a chemist by training, but he pioneered a new form of cancer therapy, of photoline therapy, and in the world. So he took me a tour at that day. I still remember very clearly. So we walk, enter the surgical suite, walk, climb upstairs to the balcony, where behind the glass door, we oversee, overlook the surgical no, operating that, table. And there I see a technician operating a laser, send a beam of red light all the way down to the operating table into the patient. Can you imagine how awestricken I am? I was a young chemist, graduate student, never worked with cancer cells before. All of a sudden, I see a new innovative technology applied to a patient in real time. So that moment lit a fire on me, right? Ever since then, it's driving my whole career in the cancer field, from a graduate student at Roswell Park to a professor, assistant professor at the University of Pennsylvania, then all the way to Toronto 16 years ago for Princess Margaret. And trust me, that fire is still burning, probably stronger than ever. So for my research, um, I work with uh, these very super tiny molecules, cancer seeking molecules called nanoparticles. They're tiny because they're 100,000 times smaller than the human hair, but they're very powerful because they can travel freely in the bloodstream seeking cancer cells to destroy. So the type of nanoparticle I work with is, are made with fat, fat molecules. And during the pandemic, these fat molecules, these nanoparticles, become humanity's savior because they are the lipid nanoparticles carry Pfizer, Moderna, the mRNA COVID vaccine into everybody's arm here. Another fascinating molecule I love is called porphyrin. There's a colorful molecule to make our blood red, grass green. They're also the one which use the photonized therapy Tom Dolly showed me in the surgical suite 20 years ago. So, 12 years ago, I had a quick idea with my student. What if we chemically link this fat molecule with this porphyrin, in the color molecule? Can they still form a nanoparticle like the fat molecule do in the COVID vaccine? The answer is yes. The rest is really the history. Because from there, we made a nanoparticle that can detect cancer by the PET skin, by MI skin, by lighting a tumor with the fluorescence to allow the surgeon to, to basically see and treat, can do the phototherapy and help the chemotherapy and radiation therapy. This will essentially a Swiss Army knife kind of you know, technology was hailed as one of the top 10 cancer breakthroughs by the Canadian Cancer Society. And with such a powerful molecule in hand, we were embarked 10 year clinical translation journey to try to realize my dream of the, for the translation. And we are very close. Next year, we will get into the first in human. So, very exciting time ahead. So, with that, thank you again for this tremendous honor. And thank you for recognizing my passion to pursue this dream and accept this honor on behalf of my students and collaborators at the Princess Laurie Cancer Center. Thank you. Thank you.